Hello friends, today I have prepared another program to learn Windows 10. I hope you like it and support me and subscribe to the World of Computer channel. First, press start button, then go to settings and then network and internet. Refer to the settings section. The status part explains the internet status. In the Properties section, I click on a brief description to know more about how to connect, the Internet Connection status and how I am connected to the Internet. The IP address and actually the connection details are provided too. Data Usage section shows the Internet data usage, which can be determined by setting the Enter Limits. The Show Available Networks option shows the list of available networks around us. Network Troubleshooter option. When there is a problem in our connection, I click this option to easily detect and fix the problem, especially if it's an unrecognized problem. The View Hardware and Connection Properties option shows all the specifications related to the network card and Wi-Fi in your system, as well as the MAC address. We can also find and see the name of the adapter or actually the network device. Now in the Start menu, we type Computer Management in the Network or Adapter section to find the name of our system adapter and see that if it's installed correctly or not. Now, go to the Wi-Fi tab. The Show Available Network option is to show the available networks around us. The Hardware Properties option shows the Wi-Fi hardware specifications as well as the SSID and the IP address it has received. The Manage Now Network option is for managing Wi-Fi's on our system, which we can add or subtract. If we click on each one and hit the Forget option, we can delete it. Click on the Wi-Fi symbol on the desktop. And in the Open list, select your desired Wi-Fi. And then, Enter your own password. Ethernet tab. This section is related to the type of Internet connections. If you use an Ethernet connection, the IPv4 address of the DNS servers is the manufacturer's name, the driver version, and the physical address. Of course, all these settings were in the Status tab, which were explained separately here. If we click on Change Adapter Settings, it will show the list of all our connections. We can make settings by right-clicking on the desired connection. If we click on Disable button, our internet will be disabled. If we click on Status and Select Details, we will see all IP ad specifications.
If we click on the properties and select the networking tab and then the option of Internet Protocol version 4, TCP or IPv4 and click on the properties, we will enter the IP settings. Choose the IP address to make changes according to the network IP range and settings. If we click on Change Advanced Sharing option and turn it on, we can give permission to share to our folder or printer, which of course has its other settings. Please send me a message to prepare a special training program if you need it. If we click on Network and Sharing Center, we can enter the network connection setting and select Change Adapter Settings from the left menu. Now we enter the network connection that we explained it earlier. In this section of Internet and Network Settings, we can add a VPN connection section. We can also specify the VPN provider, choose a name for our connection, and specify the name and address of the server and or registration information. Airplane Mode tab Here, we use wireless radio networks such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If we turn off the button, we actually cut off the wireless communication. Mobile Hotspot tab Currently, the Mobile Hotspot feature supports up to 8 devices, which means you can connect up to 8 Windows 10 devices to the Mobile Hotspot. You just need to make sure that the computer or laptop in which you are going to activate this feature has a wireless network card so that you can wirelessly connect those 8 devices to the mobile phone. First, turn it on to change the user and password in the Edit section. Proxy tab In this part of the settings, we can use automatic settings. Although we can set the IP and port manually, but usually we set it off. And as a note, I must mention that sometimes when we use VPN, after turning off the VPN, or internet faces problems and does not connect at all. In such these cases, refer to this section. You can see that an IP is set for your device. Turn it off and actually delete the IP. The problem of not being connected to the internet will be solved. This was just one point. I hope this video is useful for you. Please support me and subscribe me. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.